A recent study found the average wait time to treat a cavity was 99 days. This is simply not good. Dr. Michael Berber and Senator Rothman are joining us to share about this lack in access to dental care. Verbal Dental Group is sponsoring this segment. Whoa, Dr. Verber, we're here to talk today about this. This access to dental care crisis, you say, that's leaving Pennsylvania struggling. Tell us more, what's happening? Well, it is, it is certainly a crisis barreling towards a catastrophe, actually. We are um, finding that a lot of Pennsylvanians have absolutely no access to care. The U.S. Department of Health and Human uh, Services reported that there are currently two million Pennsylvanians that have no access to care. But as you also indicated, you know, even my patients or patients that do have access to care are waiting extremely long to get problems addressed. Uh, Channel 27 News actually right here reported a, on a story and I think the title of the story was, do you think Taylor Swift tickets are difficult? Try getting a dental hygiene appointment. <laughs> wow, yeah. oh my gosh. How did this become such an issue? Well, look, in my district, uh, in central Pennsylvania, we've seen growing population, but we have less dental hygienists. And, and I think Dr. Verber can speak to it. You need the hygienists uh, to help him. Uh, and it's a workforce issue. And it's, uh, there was a study done in 2015 and it found that we just don't have enough dental hygienists in Pennsylvania and certainly not in central Pennsylvania. So. Uh, many industries are, are dealing with this, but um, this is a, a critical health care uh, crisis as well. Well, sure, because we've learned that dental health plays a role in overall health, so it yeah. is very important. And I know you and your office are working on some things, like, but what can you do about it? So, first of all, there's a lot of regulations, a lot of red tape. There's um, uh, barriers that we can um, eliminate. I, I don't know, Dr. Verber can can jump in here too that we haven't we don't have a dental school in central Pennsylvania anymore we don't we don't we're not training people we're not um, allowing you know the, the licenses to go faster the clinicals that need to take place uh, it's a workforce development issue as well uh, we need to be attracting to Pennsylvania much bigger global uh, workers to Pennsylvania and we need to do things to make Pennsylvania more friendly uh, to businesses and to uh, dental practices uh, but there's a lot to do and there's a lot that can be done um, but most of it has to do with uh, opportunity and regulatory reform. Why specifically are you interested in this? Yes, yeah, so I, I have the, the privilege of representing Central Penn College and they have a great program about this. Um, but I've lived here all my life and I experienced it. I mean, I've got five kids, so trying to get dentist appointments for mm -hmm. my kids and, and myself. And I've understood um, the importance of, um, you know, ha having good dental care uh, affects overall. and. You know, fiscally, you think about it, I mean, the more we spend on preventative medicine and, and taking care of ourselves, the less we have to spend in, in mediation or remediation, right? Right, and, right. Uh, So it just makes sense. But common sense is a, 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 sometimes in Harrisburg, there's not a lot of it. But, oh, that's a whole other segment. Yes. A whole other segment. <laughs> Dr. Verber, we talked about Central Penn College's program. If someone's interested in learning more about that program and going, you know, through dental school as, as a career path, how should they do that, what should they do, what do you recommend? Yeah, well, so Central Penn is part of the solution. We're very excited there. It's a great uh, institution and they're launching uh, some programs with incredible opportunities and folks can learn about them uh, by going online at uh, centralpenn.edu. Perfect, thanks so much, guys. Thank you. There's more to come in our second half hour, so stay with us. As we head to break, we thank Verber Dental Group for sponsoring the previous segment. We'll be right back.